So I volunteered myself for a maker swap with Dead Rise over in the US. I believe he's going to do it for the June maker swap. So what I've decided to do for him is a mirror with his logo engraved into it. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera and I'll show you uh, how far I've got so far. And then we'll uh, go from there. So I've got Emmett's logo on the software for the engraver or the laser engraver. Um, obviously it's reversed because when we're engraving on a mirror we do the back so um, it's smooth on the front that's why it's on reverse so that's on there that's all done so in here we have it doing its thing um, it's gonna take around about six hours to do so we're just gonna leave it and let it do its thing over the next few hours and uh, hopefully it'll come out nice and clear and pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm gonna illuminate the back of it or whether I'm just gonna leave it natural. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it depends on uh, what it looks like when it comes out. So uh, we'll leave that doing its thing and we'll come back when it's finished. Making the framework for the Dead Rise uh, logo mirror. And what I've done so far is I've run this through the table saw at two different depths. This one is 15 mil from the front with a five mil inset. And then this one is 25 mil through with, uh, I believe it's a 25 mil inset. So the plan is now is to reset the circular saw up. So we cut this piece out through here. Um, that will give me um, the seat for the glass to fit on. And then we'll set again another depth on the circular saw and cut this final little piece out. And that'll be our final depth and this will be our backing plate so in the end you'll end up with like a step so uh that's the plan um just a quick easy way to make the frame um i could have glued it together then rebated it all out with the router but it's easier just to rip them through the table saw and do it that way so um yeah i'll come back to you when um, i've cut these out so all cut out now um this will be where our mirror sits on then we've got a bit of a upstand, and then this will be for our backing plate. I'm not sure where I'm going to trim a bit of this off yet. This may be a little bit too deep, but I can trim that off um, once I work out the thickness of the backboard I put in there. So I made this out of a bit of 34 by 34, um, just planed timber for the sides. I've already cut a mitre on one end, so we need to just cut these to size and get it all glued together. So that's the next the next bit. Then that's the case of getting the mirror in it. So let's get this cut and glued up. all done we'll just leave that to dry overnight I've used cable ties to hold it together um, I keep meaning to buy myself one of those uh, ratchet strap things with the corners on it but never really get round to it but to be honest um, this works quite well I know you have to throw the, the uh, cable ties away but it's not a major issue so anyway all glued up like I say we'll leave that to dry Come back to the morning, get it cleaned up, and uh, go from there. Like I said, I might just take this a little bit thinner. I'm not sure yet. I can just run that through the table, sort of thin that down. That won't be a problem. So uh, we'll see what it looks like in the morning.
frames all dry. Start putting the glass in, but I've got the press record on the camera, so I do apologize. All I'm doing is I'm gluing the glass in with some hot melt glue, but I'm doing little bits at a time so I don't heat fracture the glass because obviously the glue's hot, the mirror is not very warm and I don't want it to shatter. So I'm just doing little bits at a time. Cut the back ready to go in the back and I'm just gonna hold the back in with some little tiny um, two by 10 screws, little tiny screws. So that would just be screwed in there like that. Um, I was gonna illuminate it, but because it's being shipped over to the States, and being bashed and battered about i didn't know whether that would cope with it so um i've decided against it i don't want it to get over to emmet and then it don't work not very professional so i decided just to um put a back on it and to be honest it still looks quite cool with nothing in the back so um that's the plan so let's get this finished glued up quite cool to put this on the back of this uh, mirror so I've designed this it's just like make a swap let me just get rid of that off of there right so it's make a swap 2020 and then I've got Emmett's logo and my logo I'm just gonna print this on the back just thought that'd be a nice sort of uh, reminder of when it was done for so we've got that going it's only just started so it hasn't got very far it's gonna take I don't know, I suppose 40 minutes to do. So we'll leave that to do and then we'll come back and uh, fit the back and then it'll be a case of cleaning the glass and then make sure it's really well wrapped to get it shipped over to the States. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this finished to see how it looks. So it's all together now. Um, I can't really get a really decent picture of it because of everything's reflecting in it, unfortunately. But obviously it's a mirror, so it's going to be. So this is all dried nice now. This is that um, Jacob Oak. It looks really nice. It's got a real dark, deep effect in the wood and it's brought out the grain really nice. On the back, what I've done is, obviously you see me engrave the back. We've got Maker Swap 2020 in it. Then we've got Dead Riser's logo, then my logo. And what I've done on the back of this is, this is a piece of three mil ply. I've just given it a coat of Danish oil just so it enhances the grain and the color of the wood really because it looked a bit plain and tired just being natural so just give a quick coat of um, Danish oil so what I'm going to do is this is now going to be boxed up and shipped over to Dead Rise and then um, I'm not going to launch this video until his video has been released because I obviously don't want him seeing what he's getting before he gets it so um, if obviously you're watching this his video has already been launched, so I will put a link for his video up here somewhere. So pop over and check his video, and then hopefully he'll link this video into his video, so obviously people can pop back and watch how it was made. So hey guys, hope you've liked it. If you have, then smash the like and share button. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this boxed up and shipped over to the States, and hopefully I'll make it in one piece without getting smashed. Um, hopefully. But I'm going to wrap it really, really well. And then hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be in the hands of Emmett. So have a great weekend. Take care. Speak to you soon. And bye for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for making it to the end. There may be a couple of videos down below that you might be interested in. Um, if you do, pop over and check them out. Also, if you're a subscriber to the channel, then thank you very much for your continuous support. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then pop over and click this link here to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified for all my latest uploads. So hey guys, take care, speak to you soon.